So Roblox Island has updated and we've got a whole lot to explore. So let's get straight on to this video. So firstly, we're going to start off with the new quill. So go ahead and head to a workbench and then you can go ahead and search quill. And then you can actually see you can craft it for three feathers and two iron ingots. And you're probably curious, how do you actually get feathers? Well, what you're going to need to do is head over to Desert Island. Then you are going to head over to the animal NPC. Then you're going to talk to Rick and you're going to buy a vulture spawn egg. Then you're going to come back to your island and hold down. Then you're going to get a vulture. Then if you place nests near the vulture, it will start placing feathers around the nests. And let me actually explain what the quill does. So you're probably confused because I just showed you how to get it and everything. But if you actually walk up to a sign and click on it, you can actually click on any one of these fonts and you can change it. So then if you want to be more like unique. But yeah, you've probably seen that I have a new weapon in my inventory. Now I'm going to show you actually how to craft that. So head down to your workbenches and then you can go ahead and go into the anvil. Then you can scroll all the way down to the bottom to see this new weapon, what's called the non-toxinous stinger. I don't know if I pronounced that right. So you need two scorp serpents tooths and eight scorp serpent scales. And then you need 12 bones, 10 steel ingots and five gilded rods. And you already know how to get these last three, but I'm going to be telling you how you can get these first two right now. So what you're going to need to do is go ahead and go to Desert Island again. So it's definitely best to do this in a public server so then you can get people to help you fight it. So you probably think there's uh, maybe a new type of scorp. Well, no. Maybe you think we have to go ahead and kill the Baja boss. Well, no. There is a completely new not boss, not a mob, but a mini version of a boss what spawns in a desert storm. And it is very clear when a desert storm happens and it happens around every 10 minutes. So right now I'm gonna cut to when a desert storm happens. Oh, 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 it's happening, it's happening, it's happening. Okay, okay guys, so it has just happened and it has just spawned. So what you're going to need to do is just go and find it. So it should be this red looking creature and you just gotta try and kill it as fast as possible. And another thing you can do to get the most loot possible is it use a captain's rapier. And if possible, you can use a blueberry cookie. So right about now you wanna eat your blueberry cookie and just start using your captain's rapier. And then you should just kill it. So that is actually how you can get the truce and the scales. But they are tradable, so you do not have to go ahead and kill that if you don't want to grind. But let me actually show you what this does. So this weapon is kind of a spellbook weapon and a melee weapon, but mostly melee. And it is really overpowered. So if you hold down, you can go ahead and throw this thing. But we'll do 75 damage. And you can do that every two seconds since it's a cooldown. But don't spam it, otherwise it will not happen but this weapon does up to a hundred damage for me so if you walk up to it it is doing up to like a hundred and something damage and it is quite overpowered but i would say this is one of the most overpowered weapons and if you notice it's actually doing a tick damage let me try and show you that and as you can see it's doing a 17 tick damage what is really helpful when you're trying to fight it because it's just doing tick damage non-stop what is really handy but yeah that's how you get those two items but yeah let's go over the next thing so roblox islands has added two new seeds and let me tell you where you can actually get them so if you go to the desert island then if you go ahead and head over to the crops merchant you can click buy seeds and you can find the new vine stem seeds and the new cactus type seeds i don't know how to pronounce them but and then if you place them on your island they look like this so this one is the vine stem ones and then this one is the like cactus type one and every time you harvest them it will give you around three and one seed back oh yeah and you can sell the vine stems for 38 coins and the cactus type one for 42 coins and there's another thing you can actually do with the vine stem you can go back to your workbench and you can search vine and we've got a new vine ladder so you can spend 10 of those vine stems to make one ladder they are basically normal ladders but they're just vines instead of just being the plain old wood ones what it's kind of nice to see though but yeah if you did enjoy this video could you please drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you next video or live stream youtube and now goodbye youtube